y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin and I'm back in the same shirt that you may or may not have already seen depending on the order that I upload these videos. If you've seen some of my other videos, I told you I was bulk filming. So get into the shirt. It's summery. So, you know, enjoy. But today I'm here with another episode of Bookends, the series where I try to put an end to all the unread books on my shelves. And if you've been following for any length of time, you know I do not succeed, very rarely. But today we're gonna find out whether I am on my way to decreasing my physical TBR or not. I mean, I guess if we're gonna be positive, either way I'm decreasing my physical TBR, right? Because I'm reading the books for my shelves. Am I making a significant dent? Your guess is as good as mine. So let's begin, shall we? We started off last time with 124 books. It was two more than I started off that quarter with and so, um, yeah, but that's, we're not here to talk about the past. We're here to talk about the future and to see if I have at least, I need to come out of this with at least 124 books. Like I cannot have more than 124 books. Like we just can't be there. We're in five vibes. It's going to be vibes for under 120. That's that's the vibe of the video, positivity. So let's get into these books. Starting in May, nope, that's not where we're starting. Starting in April, and we'll go with the books that I bought in April. So first I got The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman by Ernest J. Gaines, Beloved by Toni Morrison, The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. I'm actually very excited to get to this. I've heard several people like really love this and so I am excited. And the last thing that I bought was Sex Cult Nun by Faith Jones. I've heard wild things about this and I am so interested in picking this up. Clearly I'm interested because I bought it Duh, Robin. I'm interested in all of these books that I picked up. So those were all the books that I bought in April. Not a lot. Clearly we're over 124, but I read some books from my shelves in, in April. So let's get into it. In April, I picked up A Blade So Black by L.L. McKinney. And then I also picked up well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. I don't know if you're counting long with me. Um, actually, it should be long here. Um, I'm not doing so great. I'm not doing so great. But that's okay, because this could all turn around. Still sending out those positive under 120 book vibes. So that was April. We're gonna move right along to May, hopefully. We do a little better. So in May, I bought only a handful of books. Literally, just a handful. The first book that I picked up in May was The Personal Librarian by Marie Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray. I don't know why I thought I was gonna remember two people's names. I barely remember one person's names. I barely remember my name, so. There was no way, whatever. But that's what I got, The Personal Librarian. Then I also picked up The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dere. I also picked up The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas. I haven't heard many people talk about this actually, but it seemed mysterious. And I, I'm interested. So those are the only books that I picked up. I, very proud of myself, picked up Beloved, I had just bought it in May. No, April, I just bought it in April and here I am reading it in May. And then I also bought in April, 
um, The Library of the Dead, and then I read it in May. And then I read one more, and that was The Beautiful Ones by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. And this was really good. I haven't talked about this yet, but it was really good. So May kind of cancels itself out. Like I didn't read as many things as I wanted to, and that's okay. Also in May, I started reading House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I started this in May. Dash and I are buddy reading this. We're still reading this because I fell into a massive slump. I don't know if it was this book. I'm not pointing any fingers. It started to explain a lot of things. May kind of worked out because I clearly read more than I bought. So we might be in the positive here. Moving on to June and the things that I bought and uh, surprise, I did not buy anything in June. I was in such a slump that I didn't even think about buying books. I was just like, books, what are those? I did start some things in June. So this may work out for me. I know you're thinking, if you didn't buy any books and you weren't reading books, what were you doing in June? Well, let me tell you. I was watching a ton of documentaries about cults. Just, you know, normal summer activity. And, um, oh, I watched all of Selling Sunset. I started it and got to the most recent season. Then there were a couple of other things. I watched The Great on Hulu. I rewatched a couple of episodes of Married at First Sight. You know, I was just really into anything that was not reading. And I think that was helpful. But I did actually read a couple of things or started a couple of things. I didn't finish them in June, but you know, this is what I started and not what I finished. And one of those was The Road to Jonestown by Jeff Gwen. Maybe this is how I started with the cult, actually. That makes sense. And then I also read If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. And that was everything that I picked up in June. But wait, there's more. Because I was scanning my shelves and I was thinking about the 14 books that I decided I need to read before the end of the year. Otherwise they needed to be unhauled. I was looking at them and I realized there, there were two books that I was just ready to unhaul. The first book is Everything's Trash, But It's Okay by Phoebe Robinson. I just wasn't interested in reading this anymore. And if I am, I can always get it from the library. And then the second book is The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. Again, just something I just felt like I wasn't interested in anymore. I haven't really been into YA contemporary for a little while now and so once I like scanned the synopsis, I just felt like I wasn't really interested in it anymore. So unhauled. With those two books unhauled, I think I am at 122 books, which is underneath the 124 that we started with. What's happening? It's not the 120 that I thought I was gonna get, but honestly, that's okay. It's okay. I'm just glad that I did not have more than 124 books because I didn't know what I was gonna do with myself. Now, my birthday was a few weeks ago and so I bought a shit ton of things. I just knew that when my birthday came around, it was gonna be just a disaster for me. How much of a disaster it will be, I don't know. You'll have to wait for the next round of bookends. I'm hoping that maybe I'll just really wanna read them all and then it won't be a problem. That's not how this works. If you think that I should go ahead and prioritize any of the books that I did pick up in this round of bookends, let me know. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And until next time, bye.